What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. We out here right now at the Mighty Moss number 45. Food drive number two in full blast. Let me walk y'all through. This brother Albert is on the scene as always. You know what I'm saying? Just cool hand looking as usual. And you can see. Boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and rows and rows of food. Give away to the people. As you can see. Every direction. They got food going on, man. Right there, Moss 45. And all this is going today. All this is going today. Everything must go. All these boxes. See? My nephew over there in the cut. Yes, sir. See, from this, from this angle, all of the food that, and this this is just what's left. This is just what's left. A lot has already been given away. As you can see, the brothers over here, they got boxes on the dolly, getting ready to get their food away, man. DJ X, tell them what's next. Tell them what's now. Tell them what's now, D. What's now? What's going on right now? Food drive, brother. Come, come to OST 4443 OST. Come get your box of food and clean it. Good. No doubt, no doubt, man. As y'all can see, bags and bags. I say this every time. If we don't do it, it ain't gonna get done. You know, so we gotta do it. It's up to us. We can't wait on folks that claim they're gonna do it. We gotta make it happen. And this, my brother, you know, I always got a bum rushing with the camera. The catalyst, the man, the man, the man behind, behind the effort, man, brother Abdul Halim Muhammad, bro. What we got going on today, brother? All praises due to our love. What we have is a collaboration between Mars 45, Action Community Development Corporation, and the Mayor's uh, Health Equity uh, Task Force. And uh, what we're doing is that we're doing a community food drive, which includes personal protection equipment, and also house cleaning and disinfecting uh, uh, house goods and whatnot here at Mars 45. And uh, we believe that, you know, the answer to, to violent crime, to suicide and domestic violence is that we have to rebuild family and community life again. And so you can't lock them up and throw away the key. It's, the answer is not more police. The answer is not more prosecutors. The answer is not more judges. The answer is not totally in bail reform or any of that. What it is is about in funding community group, people who got boots on the ground, the people that the people trust, and allow us to help the people so that we can ease those situations that wind up into violence. You think about uh, over this, uh, this holiday season, people were depressed, people were in despair, people felt defeated, but if we get the, the proper resources, then we can bring help and healing and hope to the people. And that's all they need is just somebody to feel that somebody cares about them so they won't take their life where it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. They won't take out their frustrations on their wife and their children or in some cases on their husband and their children. And, and then uh, they won't be out there jacking, robbing and stealing if at least they got something to feed their families with and give them that will help them make it through another week or another day. So we thank Allah for this beautiful weather that we have. We thank you, Brother K. Reno, for always coming out and always supporting the people in the hood, in the southeast, and throughout the whole city of Houston. And we're just doing our part. So, again, I close with this. Three men were on the corner arguing. One had a Bible, the other one had a Holy Quran, and the other one had a Torah, which is Old Testament. And they were saying, my, my God is better than your God, and, and your God is better. And then there was a fourth man that came up, and he had a loaf of bread and a cabbage in his hand. And they wondered why the people came to the man with the loaf of bread and the cabbage in his hand, because he was hungry. So we need to remember that what Jesus said was, you know, when I was hungry, you fed me not. When I was thirsty, you gave me not drink. When I was naked, you clothed me not. When I was out of doors, you gave me not shelter. And when I was in jail and I was in the hospital, you ministered not unto me. 
And the disciples asked him, they said, Master, when did we see you hungry, thirsty, naked, out of doors, in jail, or in the hospital? He said, even so much as you haven't done it on to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it on to me. And the Holy Quran says, what will make thee comprehend what the uphill road is? It is to free a slave. Or in the day of hunger to feed a poor man lying in the dust or orphan nearly related. And we're going to be about the business of serving. So we're here at Mile 25, not just preaching. We're doing what we talk about because it's nation time. Y'all see it. And this is the second one, right? In the this last is the second one, months, and it right? won't be the last, God willing. No doubt. Man. Appreciate you, Big Brother. Man, All you do, Big Brother. Man, peace and power to Love the people. Love, family. Bless you. Well, Lake of Salam. Y'all see, man, that's, that's it right there. There ain't nothing left, left to be said. Y'all see what's going on, man, and, and it's going to be a continued effort because the same way that our people being hungry and in need in the communities is continual, our efforts have to be continual. So appreciate the love, man, and we'll see y'all, we'll see y'all. Yeah.